Hey guys, it's Barrett from the Gimpy Camper. I was just going to make a little video here, uh, show you guys what I'm working on. It's just a quick repair video. Uh, so when you go camping, three things that you really look for is electricity, water, and dump station. This weekend we're taking this camper for the first trip uh, for what you call boondocking where you don't have any hookups and a pretty important part of that is water. When we don't have water hookups, you rely on your pump. Sometimes there's a problem with that. So, let me show you what the big problem is. Okay, so here's our city water connector. Uh, let me show you what happens when we turn the pump on. Guys, you see this? This camper's supposed to be a big boy, but it ain't supposed to go pee pee by itself. So the problem with this is there's a check valve inside that city water connection that's supposed to cut the water off where water can't come back out. But it does two things. Number one, when you turn the pump on like that, it doesn't cause the camper to urinate. And number two, it keeps water from backing up whenever you do have it hooked up to a hose. So we gotta get that fixed. While we're at it, we're gonna fix the um, fill valve or the fill tank cover that goes to the tank as well just because it's old and shabby looking. As a side note, the way that I found to temporarily fix that problem should you run across it is uh, this is the elbow that I use whenever we're have it hooked up to city water and so I got a splitter valve for a water hose that has a ball valve on it. So if you hook that up and you turn it off, then it will keep the water from coming out of there. But you know, still, water gets out when you have the city water hooked up, and it's still not ideal, and it seems easy enough to fix. Okay guys, so uh, the city water inlet that we're going to put on is a product by JR Products. Uh, and this is the tab for it. Just looked it up on Amazon real quick. Uh, had it shipped directly to the house. I think it was about 15 bucks. I'm not exactly sure. Um, you know, it looks easy enough. You put some butyl tape around here. You can get some uh, either pipe dope or Teflon tape. Connect the water setting there. Um, and then just screw it in. And put some sealer around the edge. Give you a close look at it here. So it just screws right on there. Goes with a little cap. And that uh, little plastic piece right in the middle, I'm not sure if you can see it there. But that's what the check valve is. That's what keeps the water from coming back out. Alright guys, this is a tip I picked up from RV with Tito. Um, I actually used this whenever I did the light replacements here. That was based on his video. Um, but WD-40 works really good to take this sealing off. So I'm going to give it a good scrape. Though. get something and wipe it off. Alright, so we're just going to take a rag and wipe this WD-40 off. This pipe does not have a lot of play here. I actually figured it would give us a few more inches. Man, this thing is tight. Try to not bust the pipe here. Okay. 
I'm gonna leave that in there for right now because I was right. So this is a female and this old brass piece is male but the one that came on my new one's female so I do have to go get a nipple for that. We're gonna leave it in the wall uh, because that way it'd be easier to fish it out of there to put the new one on when I get back from the store. All right, so we're back. Had to go to the store, get a nipple to put in there. Got some Teflon tape on there. Probably better off using pop dope, but I didn't want to mess with it. And as always, it's be more helpful to have about four more hands. That's going to be enough to make it watertight. Let's go check it out. So the pump turned off by itself. That's good. Don't see any water. I believe that's got it. But as a secondary precaution, we're going to take a hose. We're going to hook it up here. Then turn the pump off. Make sure that the hose works fine. So no leaks guys, just some raindrops. Good job. Looks like they're going to line up with the old holes. project done. Now we're going to move over and do the water tank fill valve. Alright, so here's our fill valve. We're going to change it out real quick. You know, it's just nasty looking. We did uh, change the drain valve first because it was broken. The tank wouldn't hold any water so I couldn't even tell if the water pump worked at that point. Now this process should be about the same, except for there should be, according to my research, a tube that connects to the back of this that has a hose clamp on there. Uh, step in a puddle of water. Fish can't tell. It's kind of rainy today. You know, I've been reading about places that have droughts out in California and such. It's just strange because we've had more rain this year than 
we've ever had in the summertime. Matter of fact, I use a uh, weed killer all around the house instead of having to. Oh, it just popped off. Instead of weed eating a lot in the weed killer, I've only been able to spray twice this summer because I had to wait because it was too rainy. Right, I'm just going to scrape this off and get the new valve and I'll pick up there. All right, so here's our old nasty cover. Here's our new cover. You know, basically, it just twists on, um, and then the back goes over, the hose goes over the back. There's a dog over there. Doesn't like me messing around up here, apparently. I did realize that when you open the basement door, um, you can get to the, the hose back here. I was worried if I was going to be able to reach it or not. Sticking it on here because there's not much of a lip on that cover for it to stick to. It's not sticking to this too well. Now this stuff works more by squeezing it after it. So here's the moment of truth. Um, you know, we just got the pump turned on. There's no hose connected out there. The camper's not taking a leak in the yard anymore. That's very nice. So let's see if the water pump works. Awesome! Alright, so join us next time on the Gimpy Camper. We've got a few more videos in the works. Um, we're going to G Creek Campground in Okoy, Hawassi area southeast Tennessee this coming weekend. So we'll see you then.